so what about um how can i say it how important mm -hmm. how important is christ to you how to, important to me the Christ is uh, absolutely important because the Christ with me is a state of consciousness that has to be attained to each and every one of us must attain to the Christ consciousness and that is a spiritual evolution of the soul consciousness and mind so to me to attain to the Christ only to that level of consciousness can we have full communion with God is in being in Christ and Christ Jesus 2,000 years ago came to show us that this is what we are all to attain to not to worship him as Jesus or that Jesus the Christ the only Christ of God he says no you have to attain to this state of consciousness this Christ that I have attained to and then the things that I do, you shall also do, and greater things than these shall you perform. He's saying you have to become like me. That's Christ consciousness, all important. We all have to, that's the focus. Yeah, that's where a lot of people get it mixed up at. They think that, um, remember how I told you, like the Hindus and all those other different religions. I mean, even the Jesus Christ religion comes from the East. Yes. You know, but when it comes to like Hinduism and uh, I forgot the other one, what it's called, but anyways, they even say that Christ is very important to them also. Yes. They yes. say Jesus. They said a lot of people think that they don't respect Jesus. They worship Jesus. I mean, they 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 love Jesus. Yeah. Big time love, more so than any of his own people in and, uh, the Middle East. Yeah, that was so crazy to me when I when I found out that they actually love and respect Jesus that shocked my world because like I said you know here in the Western world we're, we, we're not taught that we're taught that them people are crazy they don't right. believe in Christ they don't believe in God they don't believe in none of that right and it's all false what is Jesus name and um, I think you told me in, in, in their language or uh, Ishua Isha he was known there as Bhagwan Isha Bhagwan is the highest uh, title that you can give any human being what it means is God incarnate or God in in flesh so they called him Bhagwan and then Isha which is uh, short for Ishua so calling him Bhagwan Isha they were literally calling him in their Vedic uh, language Lord God that's what they were called Bhagwan Isha in their language means Lord God. And he was, he was on their side of town too, huh? He was there for 18 years in India. So Jesus Christ was in India for 18 years. 18 years. Yes. What's so funny about that is that in the Bible, 18 years of his life are missing in the scriptures. And that's where they were. That's it. That fills the whole 18. So those 18 years that are missing, uh -huh. you say that he was in India? He went first to Jagannath, India, and spent eight years studying all the, and it's very extensive, their scriptures in India, with the Brahmins. And um, he studied with them for eight years and expressed their own scriptures and interpreted it his way which they were all amazed then after those eight years he went into the Himalayas and then finally you know met with all the sages and, and wise uh, men f uh, on the Himalayas and finally made his way to the top to Tibet and then spent another eight years with the Tibetan Buddhists uh, learning there their scriptures and uh, interpreting them in, in the way of the Christ and uh, they called him the Buddha Isha so he already attained Buddhahood because these these were all masters there and so they could feel his divine eminence so they gave him the highest title as soon as they met him they could just see him radiating 
you know, this divine power, being the Christ. So they knew who he was, mm. and they, they revered him.